Hello fifth graders, welcome to lesson 1.6. Today's lesson is to multiply by one digit numbers. Please pause and write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to multiply by one digit numbers. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. All right, fifth graders, today's lesson should be a little bit of review. Today's lesson is to multiply by one digit numbers using a standard algorithm. So let's go ahead and begin with the unlock the problem. Each day an airline flies nine commercial jets from New York to London. Each plane holds 293 passengers. If every seat is taken on all flights, how many people will fly on the airplane from New York to London in one day? Before we start solving our problem, let's go through our problem and look for the numbers. So I see that we have nine airplanes and each airplane holds 293 passengers. And actually the word each is important too because that means every single plane has 293. Each tells me that we're going to multiply. So let's continue. Use place value and regrouping. The first thing we want to do is estimate to make sure that when we get to the end, we know if our number is correct or not. So by estimating, we have 293 times nine. Well, 293 is not a nice friendly number, so let's round it to 300. So now we can do 300 times nine. Three times nine is 27, and then we add our two zeros on, so we should get a number around 2,700. Let's multiply and see if we're close. The first thing we do is we multiply by the ones. You can see this highlighted in blue. We're going to do 9 times 3. 9 times 3 is 27. And we know that the 27 doesn't all go in the ones column. The 2 jumps over to the tens column on the top where you see it. All right, step 3. Now we're going to multiply by the tens. So we're still going to multiply by 9. And in the middle column, we see a 9. 9 times 9 is 81. So we have 81, but we also have the 2 up at the top that we need to add back on. So we have 81 plus 2 gives me 83. So the three, 8 goes up on top and the 3 goes down underneath. Then we multiply by the hundreds. So 9 times 2 is in the hundreds place, so 9 times 2 is 18. But we had 8 on top already, so 18 plus 8 gives me 26. And that time 26 drops down right underneath because there's no numbers to carry over. So we get the number 2,637, which we can tell is a reasonable number because if we look back to our estimate at the beginning, we said that our number was going to be about 2,700. And 2,637 is pretty close to 2,700. So this is a reasonable estimate and a reasonable answer. Since today's lesson was an easy one, we're going to go ahead and start our lesson activity. Today's lesson activity is to estimate and then solve. So you're going to estimate 863 times 8. Since I see a 6 in the middle, I would say that 863 is closer to 900 when I estimate. So you're going to start by estimating 900 times 8 and then find the final product. Remember that this needs to be done in your math notebook and ready to show your teacher. Great job on your flip lesson!